Hey everybody, you know where you are, the nine at nine with me, Tigo. Now, usually I talk about the experts and stuff, but I just gotta tell you, you know when the intro music is playing, we're just dancing over here. We love doing this stuff. I'm just gonna tell you, it is so much fun. Okay, back to the show before Alan cuts me off. I had to share that, okay? It's the third Friday of the month. You should have it set on your calendar. Today is Clutter Expert Day. That's right, Mel Mason is here. So sit right there. Did you do your homework? Sit right there. We'll be right back. Expert Talk is sponsored by Pod Nation TV, the podcast to broadcast network. Hey, welcome back. That's right, it's the third Friday of the month. Now, if you guys are watching this in 2035 or something, you go, what are you talking about? It's a Tuesday. Well, see, it's airing on the third Friday of the month. This is June of 2022, but keep watching the show. It's not dated, it's evergreen. The information that Coach Mel shares, you can use anytime. So don't change that channel. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about the seven steps of like, to manage an overwhelming space? Something tells me she's not talking about a warehouse. Hmm. Coach Melly, you out there? I am so glad to be back with you and love talking about this topic. And I'm sure people want some practical step-by-step -step that they can use instead of all this, oh my God, the outside is only a mirror of the inside and it's my presence that's required. They wanna like get to like, let me touch my stuff. How can you help me with my actual stuff? So we're gonna, we're gonna touch on that a little bit today. All right, I'm ready, let's go. All right, so you've heard me talk about the outside is only a mirror of the inside. Your presence is required. All clutter accumulates because of your unwillingness to look at it, which is simply just an unwillingness to be present with yourself. But then you wanna get to the actual clutter. Like, what do you do with the stuff, right? right and so right. as a result of me learning how to get present for my own inner clutter and spontaneously start creating order in my own life, when I was the cluttered mess, you couldn't walk in my room. I didn't hire an organizer. I didn't ask for help. I just spontaneously started creating order. And as I did that, I developed this step-by-step -step system that really just takes the overwhelm and stress out of getting organized. Because the most common thing I hear is, oh my God, I feel overwhelmed and I don't know where to start, right? right. And so right. I have this simple step-by-step -step system that just takes the stress and overwhelm out of it. I can't go okay. into every step today, but I'll list them out for you and I'll give you a couple pointers. Ultimately, step one is preparation. Step okay. two is like with like. Step three is fresh start. Step four is decision time when you're making all those decisions. Step five is homeward bound. Step six is to finish the loose ends. And step seven is to form the habit. So a couple of things that I just want to share in our brief amount of time together is, of course, in preparing to get organized, I always tell my clients, you start with the allowing the now practice. And if you don't know what we're talking about, you got to go and listen to the last episode. You got to go oh. listen to May's, okay? We already <laughs> talked about this. So go back and listen to that. Um, you got to do allowing the now first. And when you start tackling any area, people's tendency is, oh my God, I'm going to do the whole garage. I'm going to do my whole pantry or my whole closet all at once. No, no Marie Kondo on this, okay? Sorry, Marie. No. But you're going to do one square foot at a time. One, one little square foot at a time, get through that square foot, create space, have completion energy, and then move on to the next. Because what's one thing that we're not really that good at is finishing what we start, right? How many times yeah. have you done something and not finished it, right? So we're going to get that completion energy in finishing what you start. So start small, okay? So one square foot at a time. I tell people, go into a room, start with the floor, then deal with the surfaces, then deal with what's in any of the doors and drawers, right? So you can actually have space, but do it one square foot at a time. The next thing that's going to save you a lot of stress and overwhelm is sort like with like. Don't take the box or the whole surface and dump it into a pile in front of you. 
just thinking about that is overwhelming to me. I don't know about you, right? Yeah. You're literally just going to sort into general categories. Keep it super general. What room does it go to? Do it by room or do it by use, but get everything sorted first. That's like with like when you sort everything, then you actually have a visual of what you have and it's going to make it that much easier for you to make decisions later. Okay. Okay. Then because we have deciding what category something is, and then you get to decide whether you're going to keep it or not. We need a little break in between. I call that fresh start because you don't want to combine the decision-making processes. So as you're sorting, do not decide whether you're keeping it or letting it go. Okay. That comes later. But this step three is a fresh start, just like taking a mental break, cleaning the space, creating clean, clear space to put things back to, and just appreciating what you've done so far. And just taking wow. that mental break between the decision-making processes. Then you get to step four, which is decision time, what you've been avoiding all along, okay? The most important thing here is for you to actually make a decision. It doesn't matter if you keep it or let it go, okay? So just know that you're not going to let go of everything all at once. You're only going to let go of what you're ready to let go of in the moment. So you look at an item, you start with one category, whatever's easiest for you to make decisions about first, and one item at a time. Am I keeping this or letting it go? No more than three seconds to five seconds. If you're still hanging on to it, you're keeping it for now. No big deal. Move on, okay? One item at a time, one category at a time. Am I keeping it or letting it go? If you're okay. keeping it, it goes into the keep pile. If you're letting it go, the only other decisions you make is, is it usable? Can it be donated? Or do I need to put it in the trash, recycle, or shred? That's it. Super simple. Okay. Okay. Before again, you move on, I got to ask you. Yeah. I got to ask you. What if you don't put anything in the letting go pile? I guarantee you, you will. I've never had anybody not put anything. I've never once had okay. a person not put anything. Okay. Never. I, I have a box. In my eight years of business, never, <laughs> never. Even, okay. Okay. Guaranteed. Just because you're willing to look at it, you will let go of some stuff. I guarantee it. I've never had anybody not let go of anything. I've had people okay. let go of a lot of little few things, but never had anybody not let go of anything. But again, okay. with this, stick with one category at a time until you finish it. Why? Completion energy, finishing oh. what you start. Then move on to the next category and the next until you've gotten through all of them. And what you're going to be shocked by once you've done that is without effort, without stress, without forcing yourself, you will have let go of on average 30 to 60%. Okay. That's it. You it will let go of 30 to 60% without even trying. Once you get through all the categories, now it's time to put the stuff away. That's homeward bound. Getting things put away, even if the areas that you're putting things away in are cluttered. Don't worry about it. You can only do one square foot at a time. Just get like with like. So get awesome. everything put away, homeward bound, then finish up the loose ends. Most importantly, get the donations out of the house. It's not donated unless you take it to the center. It doesn't get to go sit in the garage. That doesn't count. Okay. Get rid of the donations. Take out the trash. It's kind of sitting in the garage. Shredding. You're right. <laughs> and then shred the shredding, right? Once you finish the loose ends, you've successfully decluttered a square foot, okay? It's that simple. Then you just form the habit. Start making time on a weekly basis, 15 to 30 minutes once a week, then add a day and then add another day until you're doing it five or six days a week because why? We're always accumulating so you get to always be purging. And that's the simple overview to the seven steps to manage, overwhelm, and organize any space that I teach my clients. We did it in like eight minutes. He just threw a one minute warning. So you did it in eight minutes. So I got to ask you a really quick question before he cuts us off. Do you do this first with yourself and then do it with your children or your spouse? Or should we be doing it as a family? Lead by example. You cannot force anybody else to do anything. But when you lead by example, others will follow. Awesome. How do they get in touch with your coach? How do they find you? Absolutely. Mel Mason, the clutter expert, Facebook, YouTube, and always just grab my book, Freedom from Clutter at freegiftfrommel.com. Yeah. I want to thank you so much for being on. We got to get you to come back. These Clutter Fridays are awesome. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Yeah. My pleasure. It's always so much fun, my love. Good to see you. I hope you guys, you know, were listening. I was listening. I've got, you know, a couple of boxes in the garage. I'm going to go get them because I can't look at her next time and I haven't gotten those boxes out of the garage. So I'm going to get those out of there. I'm just saying. But 
I hope you enjoyed this episode. You know, go to TigoDirect.com. If you didn't get her web address, type in Mel, type in Clutter. She's coming up. Connect with her. You can even send her a private message. It'll end up in her inbox. She'll reach out to you. I promise she will. She's really, really cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this episode. You know, I hope you'll come back next time. Don't worry. We'll get Mel to come on and do some more Clutter Days because, wow, we learn a lot. And as always, I'm Tigo. I'll talk to you next time. I'm on my way to get those boxes. Yeah. That's